Well, hello everyone. And how exciting is this? We're going to look at Leo. We're going to look at this. We're going to find out what this is. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's check this out. The Sphinx, we know this could be of tremendous age, tr just even going back into geological time. And it's been interpreted different ways over the years. Some have said it's a lion, some have said it was a bull, some have said it was a dog. I think it was a dog, but it was also a lion for a long period of time. In fact, for almost the entire ancient Egyptian period, they thought it was a lion. And there's got to be some reasons for this. One of them is the tail, but also astrology. If we look at the heavens, it's famously been argued that between about 10,000 and 8,000 BC, it was the astrological age of Leo. And the precise dates are 10,800 BC to 8,100 BC. Every 2,000 two 150 years, there is a new astrological age. What is actually occurring is processional axial tilt based on a cycle of 25,800 years. And there are 12 periods matching the 12 constellations of 2,150 years. Each period is a new era. We are said to be at the moment entering the age of Aquarius. And of course, there's this thing called proper motion. The stars actually move around, making it difficult to see how ancient temples were aligned. If we're correlating, as Graham Hancock and Robert Baval did, the positions of temples with constellations. And Graham Hancock famously suggested that Angkor Wat, with its myriad masses of temples, there are actually 72 temples at Angkor Wat, he famously suggested that the 72 correlates to 72 years, which would be one degree of processional movement in the sky, one degree of constellation shift. And he went even further than that. He suggested that this is Draco. So what we're actually looking at is the constellation Draco. So if I bring this up here, we can actually have a look and we see the similarities, which is just amazing. But here's the thing. This is Leo. If we flip that around, we have something similar. So could, could this also correlate with Leo if we're correlating it to the age of Leo, 10,800 BC onwards to about 8,100? And again, that's Leo. We, we turn it around like that. But here's the thing, and you can draw the lines anywhere you please. It really doesn't matter. It, it's The whole thing is, is just classified as Leo. The lines don't matter. It's the, it's the stars themselves that make the constellation. And stars move around, but here's the thing. That's the astrological symbol of Leo. That's the ancient view of what Leo used to look like. Thanks very much. Well, guys, I hope you found that interesting. That was all channeled um, from an entity called Tina Silva. And I find this just fascinating. There is a lot more going on that we just don't understand. I'll see you at the next video.